Japan's traditional architecture is famed for its intricately carved joinery. For going nails and screws, master builders use interlocking joints to construct robust wooden buildings that have remained intact for centuries despite frequent earthquakes. Like other aspects of its culture, Japan has successfully applied technology to preserve and modernize this traditional building method. The pre-cut method uses robotic machinery to cut each interlocking joint in seconds. At Pococo, we are currently building a beach house for a private client in Chiba Prefecture on the Pacific coast southeast of Tokyo. Our blueprints were redrawn by the pre-cut timber supplier into a set of schematics. The symbols at the junction of each post and beam denote what type of joint will be cut to fit them together. To better understand the process, we decided to tour the factory while the timber for the home structure was being cut. In a former Hitachi factory, about 30 kilometers from the site, five workers produced the timber structure for 800 to 1,000 homes each year, with the capacity to handle up to 4,000. Purpose-built machinery, manufactured by the Heian Corporation, is completely automated, taking square-cut lumber and processing it into a stack of pre-jointed and numbered timber posts and beams. Each job is input into the machinery from specialized software. The operator's only task is feeding in the appropriate lumber for each job listed in the computer's queue. There are separate machines for cutting the posts and beams. First, the dimension of each timber is checked and cut to length by a large radial saw. From there, it is whisked down a conveyor belt to a large wheel-like armature with five centrifugally arranged drill attachments. The spinning wheel allows the machine to mill a tenon, or the protruding part of the joint, onto both ends of each post and beam. A separate part of the machine mills the mortises, or sockets, at each exact location along the length of the timber. Along the way, each piece is marked with a unique number so that it can be quickly identified and assembled in the correct place when it arrives on the site. Finally, the wood is stacked, wrapped, and ready for delivery. It took only a day to erect the pre-cut timber frame of the beach house. Two skilled carpenters, or daikson, were working on the job. But to erect the frame, everybody from the electrician to the interior decorator is called upon to help. The pre-numbered members are hoisted by crane and fit together with the help of a large wooden mallet. The workers obviously enjoy the process, which is akin to piecing together a large wooden puzzle. The joints are reinforced with steel bolts, providing an additional factor of safety in the event of a large earthquake. Only some parts of the angled wooden truss reinforcing the southern facade could not be cut by the pre-cut machinery. These had to be hand-cut by the dike sun. Despite a long-term recession and a shrinking population, Japan continues to rapidly build new homes. But the workforce of skilled carpenters, or daikson, is also aging. It's unlikely home building in Japan could continue without relying on automation. With pre-cut, the time and cost of cutting and shaping each timber joint on site according to a long-held building tradition is greatly reduced. Using automation, Japanese builders, renowned for their skill and obsessive attention to detail, can efficiently achieve millimeter accuracy quickly whilst eliminating nearly all waste on site.